Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and I am back doing another entry using the January Faith Art Box from Creative Retreat Kits. I am still working through the devotional that comes with the kit and so I'm going to be using uh, some of the verses from there as my inspiration. I'll actually be journaling uh, Romans chapter 6 verses 1 through 11 today. Um, and to begin with, I'm pulling out an older kit. This is from July of last year and the pinks in this kit really match the pinks in January's kit. So I'm going to be using the tile alphas from that as well as a Jesus uh, Word Fetty sticker from that older kit. So don't be afraid to mix and match past kits. A lot of time the colors are very similar. Uh, I, for some reason, I can't just stick stickers down without having something in the background. So uh, to begin with, I'm going to sponge some uh, Distress Ink into the background using a stencil. Uh, this is Sponge Sugar. It's a very, very light pink color. And this stencil I just created using my Silhouette Cameo, but you could purchase stencils. Um, there are stencils available over at Creative Retreat Kits um, that you can use for this as well. But I'm just using a... Uh, blending tool to uh, dab that ink into the stencil. Now, Distress Ink typically bleeds through your Bible page. Uh, I know some people say it doesn't. I have bleed through. Um, lighter colors don't bleed through, and if you do it this way, it doesn't bleed through. But if I was to add water to this, it would bleed through. Dark colors bleed through. If you add a lot of ink, it bleeds through. So just be aware with Distress Inks. Um, they're just not, they're kind of finicky, and if you don't want to bleed through, avoid distress inks. So I went ahead and just added those little crosses, and now I'm going to go in and just stick a whole bunch of stickers down and create my title. Um, and while I'm doing that, uh, I'll read from you those verses in Romans chapter 6. Uh, I'm reading from the ESV, and it says, What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin still live in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we've been united with him in a death like, the, it, like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Now, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Now, Romans really unpacks um, some heavy <laughs> things as far as um, our transformation and um, some things that happen as Christians. And so this in particular uh, can be a little bit difficult to understand. Uh, and so what Paul is talking about here is um, as believers, we are dead to sin. Now that doesn't mean that we will no longer sin. Um, it means that uh, we will no longer face uh, an eternal death because of our sin. Um, as believers, we are given grace by God. Um, he also addresses here at the very beginning of chapter 6 um, this idea, you know, some teach that, you know, because we have the grace of God, then we can just keep sinning and it's okay because he'll forgive us. Uh, I personally don't believe that. Um, I don't think that's what we're taught in scripture. Uh, I think what Paul is instructing here is that, um, you know, yes, that's true. If we are to sin, you know, if we keep sinning, God will forgive us. But as believers, as born again Christians, uh, we should have a desire to not want to sin <laughs> um, in response to God giving us that grace. Um, we shouldn't just be flippant with it. Um, we should have a desire to live this new life. Uh, and we do have a new life when we become believers. And he references baptism here and how that's kind of an illustration of that um, newness that we see with, you know, Christ dying, that's us going under the water, and then Christ's resurrection, that's us coming above the water. Um, it's also, you know, baptism represents a lot of different things, um, but here, you know, that's kind of what he's talking about there, and that we are washed clean um, by the grace of God, and so we are no longer slaves to that sin. We no longer have to have that be, um, 
a control over our lives. Now, the fleshly part of ourselves is still going to have a desire to sin. That's still going to be a battle. But because we are believers and have God on our side, um, we can go to him to uh, have his strength to help us resist those sin urges. And so uh, I'd encourage you to read through all of Romans, but chapter six is just so important and really goes well with the devotional from this kit and this um, theme that Danielle has of wash being, you know, washed white as snow, being cleansed with snow, um, the pristineness of, um, you know, a snowy landscape. And that's what our lives look like after um, we become believers and we have that grace of God. And so I encourage you to dive in, do some studying, read some commentaries um, if you have questions about that, uh, and just spend some time in the Word around that, um, those facts that are in there, those truths. So here on screen, I went ahead and added all of my stickers, and now I've pulled out a lot of paper pieces from my stash. My uh, goal this year is to use up some of my stash, <laughs> and so I have no idea where these paper pieces came from, what collections, um, but I just pulled out some things that had similar colors and created some little layering groupings on the page to go with my title. My title says Dead to Sin and Alive in Jesus. And I'll go through and add um, some of the wonky hearts. My hearts are shiny because I added some Tonic Nouveau crystal drops. I have a video showing how I did that. I will link it if you're curious about how I did that. And just kind of adding just some little details. I'm having a lot of fun with layering right now in my journaling. Um, like I said, trying to use up my products, which means layering gets it used up even faster. <laughs> so um, using my tiny attacher to, you know, add some texture, adding some washi tape, things like that. So don't be afraid to pull out other products, other collections, other things that you have to go with these kits. And just kind of moving things around, deciding where I want things. This page actually came together very, very quickly because it really was just lots of stickers and um, those paper pieces, and that was really it. So I did some journaling, a little prayer off screen, and then um, outlined the verses that I was journaling on. And you can see here, I, the way I attached that grouping down at the bottom, I can still read all of the text. Here's a look at the back. There was no bleed through, just shadowing from those inks. And that is it for my entry today. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box below the video for links to all the products used today. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.